coming clean. Otmar and Erhard ran one way down the hall, and Fritz and I ran the other. Fritz carried the suitcase with our clothes in it. Fritz, we can't do this, I told him. Dozens of innocent people will be killed. Hundreds. Hundreds of innocent people are killed all over Germany each night when the bombs fall, Fritz said. This is no different. There was no changing his mind, no changing any of their minds. Fritz turned a corner. Instead of following him, I pulled up short and sprinted in the other direction, looking for a Swiss soldier. If Fritz noticed I wasn't behind him, he wouldn't stop. He had a schedule to keep. It felt like forever, but was probably just a minute or two before I found a Swiss soldier. I ran up to him, out of breath, and hurriedly tried to explain. The boys I came with, they have a bomb. They're going to, to blow up the resort. You have to stop them. It took another agonizingly long few minutes for the Swiss guard to confer with his lieutenant and for me to explain it all over again. It's in a suitcase. Two boys have it, I told them. I can show you where. Finally, the soldiers led me, let me le lead them down the stairs to the basement. We caught Otmar and Erhard looking for a place to hide the suitcase among the stacked up chairs and tables and storage crates. Otmar still had it in his hands. There, that's it, I told the soldiers. The bomb's in that suitcase. I was exposing myself now, letting Otmar and Erhard know I was a traitor in their midst. But it didn't matter. It was all going to be over soon. It was time to come clean. The soldiers pointed rifles at the boys, and Otmar and Erhard held up their hands. The Swiss lieutenant took the suitcase from them, set it gently on the floor, and flipped the latches. I flinched, worried the bomb might go off before its timer. The Swiss soldier lifted the lid slowly, carefully, and we all saw what was inside. A messy pile of clothing.